Hi everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about recording the Screencastify. So the first thing you need to do is you need to click on that little extension picture up in the top right and you have three different options for recording the Screencastify. You can do the record tab, uh, browser tab, which means that when you are in Chrome, you know, everything is by tab. So if I'm in a particular tab and I click record tab, I'm just going to record that that one section, that one tab in Google Chrome. I will not be able to record anything else. Even if I click on it, I won't see it on the recording. So this is not an option for me because I like to click everywhere. The second option is the desktop. This is what I use. I click everywhere in and out of Windows. So I want, I want my audience to be able to see everything. So I use the desktop option a lot for when I record. The third option is using the webcam only, which is good for kids who are being hams and they want to record themselves so they can use this option. This is not the option I use. What I like to do is I like to use the, the desktop and I like to embed the webcam. And you'll see right here that I, if I embed a webcam, my little picture can be in one of the four windows. And I can also enable my microphone or disable my microphone. So I'm going to record right now. It's going to ask me, do I want to share my entire screen? Because I have a couple of windows open right now. So I'm going to click the button share. And when I click the button share, immediately it's going to start recording. And you're going to see me down in the bottom corner and I'm looking around and I'm moving my mouse and waving my hand and all of that good stuff. Um, I'm clicking in and out of tabs, clicking in and out of windows. And now when I'm ready to stop the recording, I stop sharing. As soon as I click the stop sharing button, automatically it's going to save it into my Google Drive and then it's going to show me what the recording looks like. Now, if I don't like it, of course I can trash it and I can try again. But if I'm using the free version, I only have 50 attempts per month, so I got to be careful with that, okay? Another option that you have is that we're how we share it out. So if we click the little three dots that are connected by two lines, that's the share button, I can share it out in a number of different ways with my students. I can share it straight from my Google Drive, which I get a link for. I can share it through YouTube, and I can also share it through Google Classroom. It's going to give me a link. Um, and when I do share it out, like through YouTube or, or Google Classroom, I'm going to have the option of making it unlisted or public. You probably want to use the unlisted, which means they have to have a link in order to view it, especially if kids are recording and you want to use this unlisted tab. That's, that's really, really important. The public, I use public all the time because I, I get stuff outside of the district. But for, for my students, I would like to use unlisted. I think it's kind of important. Now, another thing that you can do, well, they say that you can do, of course, is that you have the option of cropping or cutting it. You won't have that option unless you buy the full version of Screencastify. It's not super expensive, and that, if that, that'll be your choice if that's something that you want to do. For me, I don't use the, that version. If I do need to cut it in some way, I will download it and, and use a different program. Thanks for watching.